Activate the defenses. Seal the station. The arms aren't moving. Systems not responding. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the Council. Citadel Control. Citadel Control, do you copy? Critical failures detected across all monitored systems. Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. They're sealing the station! Don't let the enemy ships inside the arms! Saren's locked the elevator. Suit up! We're going outside! Vigil's data file worked. I've got control of all systems. Quick! Open the station's arms. Maybe the fleet can take Sovereign down before he regains control of the station. See if you can open a communications channel. The Destiny Ascension! Main drives offline! Kinetic barriers down 40%! The Council is on board! I repeat, the Council is on board! Normandy to the Citadel. Normandy to the Citadel. Please tell me that's you, Commander. You were expecting someone else? We caught that distress call, Commander. I'm sitting here in the Andura sector with the entire Arcturus fleet. We can save the Ascension. Just unlock the relays around the Citadel and we'll send the cavalry in. You'd sacrifice human lives to save the Council? What have they ever done for your kind? This is bigger than humanity. Sovereign's a threat to every organic species in the galaxy. That's why you can't throw away reinforcements trying to save the Council. Hold them back until the Citadel arms open up and the human fleet can go after Sovereign. What's the order, Commander? Come in now to save the Ascension, or hold back? Opening the relays now, Joker. We need to save the Ascension, no matter what the cost. I hope the Council appreciates this. Alliance ships, move in. Save the Destiny Ascension. Commander, we're...
We're picking up reinforcements. It's the Alliance. Thank the Goddess. Ascension, you are all clear. Repeat, you are all clear. The Citadel's opening. All ships move in. Concentrate on Sovereign. Make sure he's dead. He's dead. is our only chance. Take that monster down no matter what the cost. Target. 
The shields are down. Now's our chance. Hit it with everything we got. Hard on my flank! We're going in! Captain Anderson, we found them. They're in here. Take it easy. It's over. You're safe now. Where's the commander? Ambassador, Captain, Commander Shepard. We have gathered here to recognize the enormous contributions of the Alliance forces in the war against Sovereign and the Geth. Many humans lost their lives in the battle to save the Citadel. Brave and courageous soldiers who willingly gave their lives so that we, the Council, might live. There is no greater sacrifice, and we share your grief over the tragic loss of so many noble men and women. The Council also owes you a great personal debt, Commander, one we can never repay. By defeating Sovereign, you have saved billions of lives. You have the courage of your convictions and a ruthless determination to succeed. Through your actions, you have become a symbol of everything humanity represents. Your species has an indomitable will, a fierce, savage spirit that will not bend or yield. We used to believe this made humans stubborn, even dangerous. But now we understand that these traits are what make you strong. There are dark times ahead. The Council needs humanity and its strength. As the Alliance Ambassador, I accept your offer. Humanity will join its strength to yours. We will take our seat on the Council. We will need a list of potential candidates. Given all that has happened, I am sure your recommendation will carry a great deal of weight, Commander. Do you support any particular candidate? We need someone with the courage to stand up for what he believes in. Someone like Captain Anderson. Him? You must be joking. Anderson prefers to let his fists do the talking. Only with you, Ambassador. Only with you. Are you sure about this, Commander? The Captain's a soldier, not a politician. We've already got too many politicians on the Citadel. The Captain would be perfect for this job. The shadow of war darkens our future. Selecting someone with military experience is a wise choice. I'm honored, Counselor. As humanity's representative, I'll do everything in my power to help the Council rebuild. The battle with Sovereign destroyed our illusions of peace and security. Now the galaxy will look to us, 
the council to defend them. Sovereign alone nearly wiped you out. You won't stand a chance if the whole Reaper fleet shows up. Not unless I find some way to stop them. Shepard's right. We're on the verge of a war with an enemy unlike any the galaxy has ever known. A war for the very survival of all life as we know it. Humanity is ready to do its part. We will not back down. We will not surrender. We will lead you into battle against the Reapers, and we will drive them back into dark space. That's Mass Effect 1 Remastered. It was certainly a great experience, I gotta say. The gameplay is bad, to put it mildly, but the actual game itself, like the, the story, the ambiance, that's what makes Mass Effect 1 really stand the, the, the test of time. Because, and I think Bioware really missed an opportunity here with Mass Effect 1, in the sense that Oh, we want to keep the original gameplay. The original gameplay was awful. It was considered awful at the time. Trying to spin that, I mean, they have improved it, but it's like preserving what? You know, if they had, like, consider this. If they had remade it, if they had taken the combat system from Andromeda, <laughs> even the Mako system from Andromeda, uh, the vehicle system from Andromeda, put it in Mass Effect 1, they would easily have one of the best RPGs out there. Uh, I mean, sure, the car the squad customization, I'm talking here about the gunplay and the controls and all that, but it's like, no, we'll, we'll take the crappy Mass Effect 1 system and we'll update that. Why? That's not what makes Mass Effect 1 great. And in fact, that's to the detriment of what makes Mass Effect 1 great. I mean, the Paragon Renegade system is pretty awful in Mass Effect 1, though I have to say, I actually originally got the Paragon ending, even though I've taken mostly Renegade choices, or I've acted like a prick, but I did take some pretty big Paragon ones, I guess, like the Rachni, Rex, um, the Council, all that kind of stuff. Anyway, um, what really makes Mass Effect 1 great, despite those kind of gameplay issues, the Renegade system, the Paragon system, which aren't great, uh, the overall combat system, the gameplay system, driving of the Mako, the poor performance of that. What makes it great is the story and your involvement in it. Like, you know, just that moment there after you fight Saren, uh, you, as he's been huskified, and you you then have that moment of Shepard walking there. That's one of the great moments in gaming, really. One of the really great cinematic moments in gaming. And I think... Um, Bioware nailed the atmosphere and the writing in this game and the overall story arc in a way that they haven't done in any other game that they've ever made. Any other. Like, I love Mass Effect 2. I, I like it actually a lot more than Mass Effect 1. Because, sure, Mass Effect 1 has a better conclusion, better story. But Mass Effect 2 has much better gameplay and it has a pretty solid cast of characters in its own right. Um, and it has great music and all that kind of stuff, great dance atmosphere and so on, right? But it's it's less well put together. And Mass Effect 3 is in many ways a mess. And le the less said about the drama, the better. But anyway, like, is it worth playing? Probably on a lower difficulty, on the lowest difficulty, it will probably be worth playing. And maybe with some cheats and all that to give you extra XP, because it is a grind to try and get to level 30. But outside that, it absolutely is. Um, it's a worthwhile experience just for um, the story perspective. It is a very long journey, but it does get you involved in it. And that's that's one of the key strengths of Mass Effect. Casey Hudson, when he set out to make Mass Effect as a series, he wanted to make the Star Wars of gaming. That was his goal. That's what he sat down with the directors of Bioware, the doctors, and that's the idea he pitched to them. I mean, he didn't necessarily succeed to the extent he wanted, but... You know, for, consider the state of Byron. This was their f really first AAA game that they were making. And I'd say, I mean, Knights of the Republic, sure. You could say that's a AAA game, but... And it has a vast importance, but in, in a way, like, production quality-wise, right? Mass Effect was way ahead of anything Bioware had done up until that point, and in many ways, they nailed it. Of course, in here, signing out, don't forget to subscribe, like, 
and enable notifications and stay tuned for more. I'm not sure when I'm going to be able to play um, Mass Effect 2 or 3. I'm very busy right now with other things, but I do intend to go through, uh, through the series completely from uh, Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 3.